Structure Deck, Cry of the Deep. Make sure you guys smash leaving crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. Title, the Dragon Ruler that the TCG did not get back. Sign of the future? I don't know. Um, so I wanted to talk about Structure Deck Water and our talk about last year where we were supposed to get the Dragonic Legion Structure Deck. Now, for those of you that know, um, we skipped ahead and we got Onslaught of the Fire Kings, which was the remake of the Structure Deck. Now, I, I'll, this is going to be a little bit messy, but for those of you that um, don't remember, your OCG um, remake Structure Decks were, you got Dragoonity, you got the Lost Sanctuary, you got Devil's Gate, which was the Dark World Structure Deck, and then Dragonic Legion was supposed to be the next one. Now keep in mind that's Light Pulsar and Dark Pulsar. Uh, we'll come back to the theory on this in a little bit here um, as for this. And then we skipped over, we skipped both of these, and we went straight to Onslaught of the Fire Kings, which was our remake of the year for this, which was pretty cool. But then that brings us back over here to Roar of the Sea. Are we going to backtrack all the way back to this? I think there is a possibility of us getting this Structure Deck R retrain this year. Um, it just so happens that water technically is the next on the elemental block that you would think about, right? Because, you know, you give fire all of these huge retrains. Water doesn't necessarily have you know, the same love that fire had. Now you can argue, well, water had Marin Sass more recently. You've had little drops of water along the way, but that was that was about it. So when you kind of think about that, you're like, okay, so we can go ahead and do an entire Atlantean retrain. And what better way to combat the pillars of fire than by diving in to the world of water? Yeah, that sounds beautiful on paper and then I, I look over at title over there and I'm like hmm what if what if they try to surprise us with title coming back with a water structure deck you know it would be really really cheesy because you know Atlanteans loved feeding off of the little water monsters that you could have in there you know free little effects and you were you were good to toggle these things and generate this advantage you could very easily see something like that you know coming to fruition but the real question here is is how much of this do we want to feed into this you know do we really want to reverse course and go straight into atlantean support um that's the question that I'm most curious about. Now, I want to go back to our structure decks here and keep in mind, some, there's not really much of a pattern to these. You know, the, the pattern was we're going down the line of things, but skipping ahead to Onslaught of the Fire Kings, I think, was mainly because they were like, hey, you know, we're already doing fire support, fire support. Let's do a structure deck that we can, we're, we're already doing all these crazy power-ups. So we'll just pull this down, go ahead and insert it in here, and we can get players excited for this. And I, I do agree with that. That was that was excellent marketing for sure. But, you know, it, it does kind of make you kind of go, huh, you know, what's, what's going on over here? Now we jump back over here to our, our structure decks. I do want to rewind back here to Dragonic Legion, and I want to I want to talk about a couple things with this. So, this is technically Chaos support. Now, the thing that was most interesting to me was we got Duality and Shadows Light last year in the Premium Packs, which pretty much looked and told me, hey, we're doing Chaos support already. You know, we can do something with this. Like, that's the kind of support that you look at and you're like, huh. You know, like, this is kind of crazy. Now, we kind of come back to this, and um, I want to I wanna point the finger at the missing duelist pack right now. We are missing a light duelist pack. Contrary to what you might think, um, that's... Where's where's the light duelist pack at? Huh? huh? Duelist packs are failing products. They're done with them. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Following the patterns and things that we've kind of been going through here... It would make sense that if we're going to pull the next duels pack and call it light, 
then that means that wouldn't it be best to pull the light and dark structure deck to go with that release? Because you want as many products as you can have going hand in hand with each other. Right? Right? So does that mean that Year of the Water is going to get pushed back again? Or is this going to be a segmented type of thing? Um, somebody's going to be like, wow, Rob, you are really fiending for this Dragonic Legion structure. No, I follow my patterns, all right? We do not break patterns. Konami does not break patterns unless they are trying something crazy. And if what I, what I kind of have a feeling is going to happen here is we're going to take this structure deck. We're going to see a light duelist pack, and that's going to be the first half of the support for the year. Yay, we did it. All right, we, we powered up light. Did it really need it? No, absolutely not. Though I, I will take my light duelist pack support. I'll get excited for it. You know, people can try out their upgraded chaos dragons. Yeah, that would really excite people. And then the later half of 2024, we go ahead and we slam down the structure deck for water. You go ahead and you get your water retrains out of the way. You give the Atlantean stuff their support. And whatever is left over from the mess that Year of the Fire caused, now you're throwing water on the rest of it. And at that point in time, fire should be starting its power creep on out of the game. Now you get everybody hyped on, ooh, water, ooh, it's wet. All right, that's, that'd be the best idea here. That's, that's literally, I think, the best thing that they could do. And that would allow them to maintain the pattern. Or they just don't even give us a light duelist pack. They kick it on the floor, delay it for X months, or they give us the light duelist pack. And we just get like this weird overlap of things where we could get the light duels pack and then the water structure deck and then the later half of the year we could get the chaos dragon structure deck and we can be like see we deceived you you know you didn't think you were going to get this there's also the question of you know structure decks in between because you know they typically feel like they've been trying to do one to two anime structure decks or something as a power up to one of the anime decks along the way and then do a structure deck R. Um, that is highly possible. We could see an even further delay on this structure deck, but right now both of these decks are in a weird place for pattern. And I do think that just strictly, you know, via patterns and trying to, you know, combat what we're dealing with, throwing some water on the fire decks is gonna be the cheesiest pun that they can do. So I think Cry of the Deep is probably going to be where we're heading for releases. Can you wait for a time where you can see upgraded Atlantean support? Because trust me when I say this, um, more cards that get their effects via cost, not exactly something that people really wanna be dealing with out here. All right, and especially bringing mermails back into the game. You know, oh boy, you know, Megalo is showing its age, but you know, you already know if they're gonna release some water stuff, they're gonna tie it into a set somewhere along the way, and which means you are gonna get mermail retrains. Like, that is not not happening, all right? Like, the writing is on the wall. It's just a matter of time until Konami figures this out, or I'm completely wrong, and we never see this stuff, but patterns show. We typically follow them, and if they try to break them and try to get cheesy, it just so happens that they were like, hey, fire really sucks. We really need to overhaul this. Like, this this entire deck deserves all of this crazy support, and they, they did a huge thing for it. They The upgrades that they brought to the table for fire were truly something amazing, and I will say, it worked out really well. So, Cry of the Deep. What do you think they can bring to the table for new Atlanteans, new Mermails? What sort of craziness do you really expect for these types of cards to be able to do? Because power creep and more powerful things that have more dumb effects, like discarding for cost. Yeah, those types of things uh, get out of hand very, very quickly. So please, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Hey!
Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.